done plenty of videos in the past exposing this uh, satanic movement known as the charismatic movement. They're counterfeiting of the biblical gifts of the spirit and the biblical miracles of the Holy Ghost. And one of the one of their biggest, you know, poster boys is Kenneth Copeland. And this guy is a total blasphemer. I have clips of this guy saying things that are just just super wicked, super blasphemous. Uh, and here's one such example of this. This charismatic Luciferian Kenneth Copeland actually claiming that God is the, is the biggest failure in the Bible. Yeah, I am not kidding. And I'm going to refute this in scripture, by the way, too. But here's the first clip where he is proclaiming this blasphemous idea that God is the biggest failure in scripture. Check this out. Who is the big, who's the biggest failure in the Bible? God is. Yeah. What he said has no scriptural basis, but, you know, here's a second clip of him parroting the same wicked, blasphemous, false doctrine of God being the biggest failure. It comes from a place of self-righteousness, by the way. And I'll show that from the Word of God. But here's a second clip of him proclaiming this wicked, blasphemous heresy from the pit of hell. You know, everybody asks you, say, who's the biggest failure? They say, Judas. Somebody else will say, no, I believe it's Adam. Well, how about the devil? He's the most consistent failure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he's not the biggest in terms of material failure and so forth. The biggest one in the whole Bible is God. Mm. Now, when it comes to the scriptural refutation of this blasphemous heresy from Kenneth Copeland, of this charismatic Luciferian, there are plenty of, there are so many verses I can go to that prove that God was the one who made mankind perfect. We were the ones who, the, who are the failure. I mean, it's no different than the Calvinists who like to, to blame, you know, God, or, you know, who pin God for all the sins when really we're the ones who are to blame. But here's a, here's a verse of scripture on the matter. Ecclesiastes 7.29, Lo, this only have I found that God hath made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. God made us perfect. We were the ones who fell away. And it's not just mankind. Even Satan was made perfect, but he fell away by his own doing. Ezekiel 28 verse 13 down to verse 15. Let's quote the verse of scripture. It says, Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardis, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, and the onyx, and the jasper, and the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, never heard of that, and gold, and workmanships of thy tablets, and of thy pipes, was prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in thy ways in the day that thou wast created till iniqu iniquity was found in thee. Okay? Even Satan was made perfect. But he, you know, he committed iniquity. He made himself, you know, he fell by his own doing. Another verse of scripture refuting Kenneth Copeland's blasphemous false doctrine. Uh, Galatians 2 verse 17 to 18 but if while we uh, but sorry but if while we seek to be justified by Christ we ourselves okay, ourselves also are found sinners is therefore Christ the minister of sin God forbid uh, for if I build again the things which I have which I destroyed I make myself a transgressor by the way, these are also really good scriptures that refute this wicked Calvinist, this, this, you know, because again, what Kenneth Copeland is preaching is essentially that God is the failure. It's no different than the Calvinists who make God the author of sin. These verses also are good refutations of this blasphemous Calvinist heresy that makes God into the author of sin. So, uh, James chapter 1, verse 13 to 15. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed, that when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Okay, you notice this is a consistent theme, how we're the, one, we're the failures by our, by our own doing, okay? Uh, God is the one who made us upright. We have sought many inventions. Okay, again, this also is a good reputation of the Calvinist heresy, making God the author of sin, because God made us perfect. God even made the devil perfect, but we fell by our own doing, and Satan fell by his own doing. And like in Galatians two, it talks about I make myself a transgressor. You know, you don't get to blame God for your own failures. You know, mankind is a failure, and it's our fault. It's not God's fault. But according to the charismatic blasphemer Kenneth Copeland, as well as the Calvinist you know, uh, heretics, God is the one, God is the one who's the failure.
You know, God is the one who authored sin and who created sin and even forced man to sin according to some Calvinists. Again, have to just give a kick at Calvinism because this is no different than what Kenneth Copeland is preaching. You know, or sorry, what he's preaching is no different than what the Calvinists believe. So, wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by this Luciferian, charismatic Kenneth Copeland. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.